Did you know that the armed forces required female recruits to wear red lipstick just to tick off Hitler? Throughout history, wearing red lipstick was seen as an expression of female independence and rebellion. Back in ancient Egypt, women who wore it were prostitutes. In the 20th century, American women were seen as immoral and heretics. Suffragettes began wearing red lipstick just to tick off men and assert themselves. But that was all about the change. During World War II, more and more women joined the workforce to replace men. Women started wearing red lipstick as a sign of confidence. Companies even began producing colors for the cause, like Patriot Red and Fighting Red. When women joined the armed forces, they were even required to wear red lipstick. All of a sudden, red lipstick became synonymous with American values and, of course, disdain for fascism. While red lipstick was a sign of female resilience in the U.S., to Hitler it was repulsive. He decreed that the ideal German woman was wholesome, clean, and fresh face. That meant no makeup. Hitler even shut down cosmetic companies, ruling them a non-essential commodity. Eventually, allied countries realized it aggravated Hitler to see women in red lipstick, so he started encouraging women to wear it even more. In fact, the government got Elizabeth Arden to create a lip and nail color for women to wear in the army. It was called Montezuma Red. Now that you know where we've been, find out where we're going. Tune in to Ladies Love Politics, where you can stay informed without going insane.